Now again, we are expecting to learn more about NASA's Day of Remembrance ceremony and when that will take place. It was set for this coming Thursday, but was postponed because of the shutdown. Last week, NASA said it was still working to reschedule the commemoration, which is a major priority for the space agency. Well, it was 30 years ago today that seven astronauts lost their lives in the Space Shuttle Challenger accident. On January 28, 1986, the Space Shuttle Challenger tore apart just 73 seconds after liftoff from Cape Canaveral. Among them on board, Krista McCullough, the nation's first teacher turned astronaut. For that reason, there were more people than usual watching the launch, including many school children across the country. It was a tragedy. They watched it disintegrate on live television. An investigation found that a seal in the shuttle's right solid fuel rocket booster designed to prevent leaks from the fuel tank during liftoff weakened in the extremely cold temperatures that morning and eventually failed during liftoff. It caused the fuel tanks to collapse. The crew cabin remained intact and kept going upwards until falling into the Atlantic Ocean two minutes and 45 seconds after the shuttle broke apart. It's likely the crew lost consciousness due to a loss of cabin pressure and died due to lack of oxygen.